Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a seamless pattern in Adobe Illustrator. And you don't actually have to have the latest and greatest version of Illustrator to do this. There is something called Pattern Maker that those newer versions have, but if you have an older version like CS4, this way will still work inside CS4, and it's a pretty easy way to do it. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start a new document. I'm going to come over here to Create New. Then up here along the top, I'll go to Print. I'll choose Letter here. And then at the bottom right, I'm going to choose Create. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is make a square. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to get over here to my rectangle tool. I'm going to click and drag while holding Shift to get a perfect square. And then I'm going to come up here to transform. Now, if you don't have this bar up here, you can go to window and you can go right down here to control and turn it on that way. Okay, so let's hit transform. And right now we're in points and I wanna be in pixels. So I'm going to get off of that. I'll just click off. And then I'm going to hit command R or control R to get my rulers up. So here they are along the top. Now I'll right click or control click on a Mac to change this to pixels. Okay, and I want this to be 400 pixels by 400 pixels, so let's go up here to transform. I'm just going to hit 400, and I've already got this checked to constrain the proportions, and then I'll hit tab. Right now my uh, square has a white fill and a black outline, and if you hit the letter D on your keyboard with it selected like this, you will also end up with a white square and a black outline. All right, now let's go get some images to put in our pattern. I'm gonna go out here to Google Chrome and I'm gonna head over to VecTZ. And when you use VecTZ, be very careful to read the license because most of the time you can just use it for free with attribution. That means you tell everybody you got it from VecTZ, but make sure to read all about how to use the images because there are restrictions with this website. Okay, now let's search for cute bees. And we'll get a lot of different ones. You'll see ones with little stars that say pro and those you have to pay for. So let's come over here and choose free license right down here. And now we can only see the ones that we can have for free with attribution. So as I said before, you'll want to read what that means. All right, let's scroll down a little bit here. And I'm really liking this one here. So I'll click on that and then we'll download now. Now when it's done downloading, it'll show up right down here in the bottom left if you're using Chrome. First, let's click on this little arrow and then go to show in Finder. And this will show you where it's put it on your computer. Okay, and this is a zip file. So if you're on a Mac, all you have to do is double click it and it'll save everything in this little folder. You can see the SVG and the EPS inside. If you're on a PC, you'll wanna right click and extract or extract all. Okay, let's take this EPS and just drag it onto our Illustrator icon. And that'll open it. We can see all the files we have here. Let's make sure, okay, these are all grouped. So I'm gonna hit Shift Command G to ungroup them. Now let's see what's going on. Okay, they are separated now in a good way. If they aren't well built and you're finding that it's hard to move them around, you can always use your group selection tool to just highlight like this and then cut Command X or Control X, paste in front with Control F or Command F, and then um, group it, Command G. So that would get this one as its own movable image. But these all look pretty good. Okay, I'm going to command minus to zoom out. It's control minus on a PC. And now I'm just going to select all of these, copy them, and bring them into our document with the square. So I'll paste them in here. Okay, I'm going to command minus to zoom out. Then I'll hit V on my keyboard to get to my um, selection tool. I'll get on a corner and hold shift and option and just resize these. That's shift and alt on a PC. Okay, and I want them about this size. Let's hit Z and draw a box around it 
to zoom in. That is this tool right over here. Now I'll hit V and get back on my selection. And I'm just going to position this. Um, I might want these a little bit bigger. So I'm going to select them all, hold shift and deselect the box. And we'll make them just a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to place some of these icons along this edge and I'll rotate them too. So I'm going to click and drag this one over here. I'm going to get near the edge and just rotate it a little bit because I want the pattern to look kind of whimsical. So we want these to not be just straight up and down. Let's get the B. Let's grab the little beehive smoker and turn it a little bit also. Now I'm going to command minus or control minus to zoom out. I'm going to select these things, hold shift and deselect this box and then just move these outside like this. Okay. Now I only want to get the things that are overlapping. I'm going to copy and paste in front. That's command F or control F on a PC. And then I'll hit V and enter or return. So right now we have two copies exactly on top of each other. We want to move these over this way to fill out that pattern area. So our horizontal should be minus 400 pixels and zero vertical. That should move them exactly 400 pixels over here. And the reason we chose 400 is because the size of our square is 400 pixels wide. So we'll say, okay. Okay. So we've got a really good start. Now we'll do the same thing with the top and bottom. So I'm going to grab this honey jar and just rotate it a little bit. Put this one here. Maybe the flower can go here. And then I'm thinking I want another B. So I'll option and drag him down here like this. Okay. Let me space these out a little better. Now I'll select all four of these. I'll copy and paste in front. So now we have two copies on top of each other. I'll hit V and enter or return. And then we'll move the zero horizontal, but minus 400 vertically. We'll say, okay. And now we have everything that'll help this pattern become seamless. Now we can just fill in the middle with more copies and maybe we'll put this one in here too. It's like this. Let's move this one in. I'll grab this, put it in there and the rest we can just use these other pieces, but I don't want them very close to a copy of it. So this one can come down here. Wouldn't mind having a few more bees around. Put the smoker up here. What am I missing? Maybe this one can go here. That one can come down here. I'm holding option to make copies of each of these. And then let's put this one right here. Move that one up. Move this one over. Okay. So this is our pattern. Now let's click on our square and choose a different color for the background. I'm thinking something yellowish. So let's double click the white and I'll come down here to this yellow, and maybe choose this color. We'll say, okay, all right, this is good, but our bees wings aren't going to show up. So I think I'm going to change those to white. I'll get back on my group selection tool and click one of the wings, and then I'll go to select same fill color. And now we've got all the wings. Let's double click and change those wings to white. We'll say, okay, all right. I'm liking that. We can even go a little darker on our yellow now. So I'll select that and double click the color. And I think this brighter yellow will work better. We'll say, okay. Oh yes. I'm loving that. Okay. Now we have an outline. Let's get rid of that. So I'm going to click on it and just choose none. Let's click on our background. So I'll copy this and paste behind with command B or control B on a PC. 
Now, when we do this, this is kind of telling Illustrator, hey, this is the defined area of our pattern. So this square cannot have a fill or stroke. So let's bring the fill to the front and we'll just get rid of it with this down here. Okay, now select everything and just click and drag it into your swatches palette. And that will create a new pattern swatch. Okay, I'm going to Command minus or Control minus on a PC. And we'll just hide this one for now with Command 3 or Control 3. I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to draw a new rectangle. We'll make this one really big. Right now we don't have a fill and that is just fine. But let's go over and choose that new pattern swatch. And now we've got a pattern that's completely seamless and looks great. Now, if there are parts you don't like about this, like for example, this B is a little too close here and there's a lot of space over here. So what we can do, we can command minus and just pull out a copy of the swatch that we just made. It looks like that part is right here. We can just use our group selection and select that B click again to get the whole group and then move him over like this. Then we'll select the whole thing again, click and hold option and replace that pattern swatch. And when you do that, you'll see it update right away. So that's kind of the manual way to create a seamless pattern swatch. If you don't have the pattern maker in Adobe Illustrator. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.